Good morning. It's Thursday, March 4th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, His Word Over the World, and our scripture is Psalm 19. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true, each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Like layers of blessing, the instructions, decrees, commandments, commands, and law of the Lord bring reviving of the soul, wisdom, joy, and insight in daily living that's lasting, sweet, and a great reward for accepting them in word and deed, in heart and hand. God's word is the key to a life of blessing. By contrast, disregarding God's word is a foolproof method for destroying a life. Solomon, son of King David, author of this psalm, spent a lifetime checking out this formula. He tried virtually everything that promised happiness, fulfillment, and joy apart from what God had decreed in his word and found every bit of it vanity or emptiness. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Everything is wearisome beyond description. No matter how much we see, we're never satisfied. No matter how much we hear, we are not content. Oddly and sadly, despite a mountain of experience to the contrary, the world's culture manages to convince itself that mankind knows better than God. The result is chasing the wind and reaping the whirlwind. In typical human arrogance, we imagine there's some new way that will be better than obeying God's ways. It would be impossible in the space of this five-minute devotional to recount even a sampling of our incredible miscalculations in trying to make God and His Word obsolete, obscure, and unprofitable. But here are two front-burner examples. The first is in sexuality. God's Word decrees, laws, and just plain common mathematical, logical way is heterosexuality within the relationship of marital fidelity. When a biblical approach to life, and by that I do not mean the media and atheistic caricaturized version, it's marriage and family life which mutually undergirds the principles of love with accountability to God. When a biblical approach like that to life family and sexuality are upheld, life is more on the joyful side than painful. Read that, less drama, more fulfillment. In contrast, the world's way is anything goes, with sexual promiscuity and libido or sexual desire as the only judge of what is good or healthy. To cut to the chase in the results department, the end of such is pretty much just plain heartbreak. And then there's politics. <clears throat> of late, but not new, humans experiment with how to socially engineer community to create the next great world order. In America, that experiment occurs every two to four years. We call it democratic elections. We choose who will govern us. Truth be told, we vacillate, wildly so, between extremes. In 2016, we elected Donald Trump. In 2020, it was Joe Biden. Extremes between the left and right, both with enough personal baggage and agenda to keep the pundits happy and employed until the next go-around. Cutting to the blunt and sane decree, the command of God, our political flags ought to be run up this pole, Micah 6.8. Know, people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you. 
to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. For you today, this culture's ways or God's ways, you just can't have both. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.